Hi, this is Kate again to do another book talk for you. I don't know if you're anything like me, but right now I'm finding it really difficult to focus on anything on my to be read pile. I, I just can't get comfortable reading even my favorites like romance novels that I normally find to be really comforting. The world is scary. We're all uncertain about our future. Uh, but sometimes I find that I can fall back on some of my favorites, including my very favorite murder mystery, which is And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. Agatha Agatha Christie is considered the queen of crime, and I think that it is a title that is well-deserved. And, in my opinion, this is her finest novel. I also really like Crooked House, but this one is the one I always go back to. This book is exciting, and um, no matter how many times I read it, it still surprises me each and every time. And it takes place on a deserted island where 10 strangers are ferried to a big old house expecting to meet guests that they don't quite know. Some are enticed to the island by acquaintances or friends of friends. Some are brought there with the promise of employment, but what they find there is not what they expected. So these 10 strangers, their hosts are not there, and a strange radio recording informs them that they are all guilty of some despicable crime and that they are going to be put to death. One by one over the next weekend, um, we do see that these people start dying all to the tune of an old school nursery rhyme. As I said, I've read this book maybe 10 times in my life and it still thrills me each and every time. The writing is sharp and exact and even if though I know the ending, it still surprises me each time. There's been some wonderful spin-offs. There's a great um, mini series that they did only a couple years ago with it. There's also a really fun video game that I've played that actually changes the ending in a really exciting way as well. So there's lots of ways that you can connect with Agatha Christie, the queen of crime, and you can borrow and then there were none is available through Libby and through your local booksellers. You can support your local uh, booksellers. Um, you can get cheap inexpensive copies of paperback through them. Otherwise you can wait until the libraries reopen and come visit us. I'd love to hear what you think about this book or any other recommendations you might have in the comments below. Also um, we hope that you're staying home and staying safe and being careful and having a wonderful National Library Week and please like and subscribe our videos. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.